Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania, on Tuesday evening, June the 21st, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks, 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time, mile test on the dirt track, three-year-olds and up race for a claiming prize at $22,000. Contenders number one, Al Moraku, number three, Judge Brew, number six, Flying Commander, and number seven, Ravine Song. Number one, Al Moraku is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four straight, including back to back power run wins in his last two starts. Jockey Dana Whitney and the incredibly sexy trainer Stephanie Beatty. In fact, if you're a track tonight, tell her I said that. Send her to the post this evening. They whacked the tote board with 58% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number three, Judge Brew has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two outings, including a power run win in his second race back. Race five summary, number one, Al Maracu tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, Judge Brew, number six, Evil Commander, and number seven, Ravine Song, one, three, six, seven, and the fifth from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, race eight, the five to one shot, number three, Indio Rooster, drops in class by four units, nice overall speed for this mile test on the dirt. Presque Isle Downs, race six, here in the $100,000 satin and lace stakes, the six to one shot, number four, Avi's Destiny, nice overall speed for this five and a half furlong sprint, comes off a power run place finish in her last start, she's also making that classic turf to dirt move this evening. So from Penn National on a Tuesday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.